Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be learning how to do web maintenance on your WordPress website. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so I have here one of the WooCommerce websites that I worked on in a prior video. So we're gonna work on what I would do to upkeep this website to ensure that it's updated and secure and to ensure that the website is optimized to serve customers. The first thing you wanna do is go to your dashboard. Okay, so the main thing you wanna check over here first is this at a glance page and you wanna make sure that you're running the latest version of WordPress as that ensures that you have the latest features and security updates. But usually when WordPress releases a new version, I usually wait a couple of weeks before upgrading just so any potential bugs can be fixed and or plugins to plugins and themes to be able to upgrade their code base in order to accommodate the new WordPress version. So next, what you want to check out is the site alt screen is another dashboard, which you can get important information regarding your website. And then if you expand the past tests, this will show you more details about your website. So again, your WordPress version is running the latest version. So again, over here, so right now we're at PHP 8.3. So 8.1 is still getting security updates but I would look into upgrading this to 8.2. So you can do that within your hosting panel when you need to update that. Yep, so just your main concern here is the PHP version and the WordPress version. Okay, so next what we wanna do is go here into appearances and themes. And again, you'll get queries here whether some themes are available for update. It seems like all our themes are up to date on this website. Okay, and then next what we wanna do is go into our plugins. Okay, and then our active plugins. So I'd say every quarter you want to kind of look over your active plugins and see if any of them aren't being utilized as well, because you should deactivate those as it could be a security vulnerability. So again, looking over here, we have some plugins that need to be updated. Okay, so looking at these plugins, all of these are being used. The variant swatch is not being utilized, so I can deactivate that. Okay, and then look in your inactive plugins. Just delete any inactive plugins from your website just to prevent any security vulnerabilities again. So again, just delete these. So again, when the plugin is deactivated, it isn't really much of a security threat, but if say someone hacks your website and they see one of your inactive plugins is a vulnerable plugin, then they can just activate that and it could provide another, uh, say backdoor to your website. So you can just do the bulk delete as well. Okay, and then next you can go to updates available and then you can click update now on all of them. So again, personally, I like to do the updates manually as if you can enable automatic updates, which will automatically update the website. But if you're not actively monitoring the updates, say an update causes your website to break, you won't have enough time to react if those are done automatically. So that's why I like to manually update the plugins and themes just so I'm able to see the status of the website after. Okay, so those are the core tasks that you need to update your WordPress dashboard. So now let's install some plugins which will help with the website maintenance. So the first plugin I like to install is a plugin that helps with backups. So what you wanna do is go to plugins and then add new, and then we're gonna search for backup. Okay, and this one over here, Updraft Plus, WordPress backup and migration plugin. So we can install that and activate. Okay, great, so now we can configure the plugin. So click press here to start. And then we're gonna run a backup. So yeah, you wanna include the database as well and the files. Okay, so they're just showing that you can backup remotely as well, which is important just in case your server is compromised. So click close and backup now. So our backup is completed. Let's refresh the page to see our backup. And here we go, we have our backup over here and we're able to restore it just in case our website breaks or if we get hacked, it's good to have internal backups, but again, You'd also want to set this up to be stored offsite as well. So let's see in settings. So over here, you can connect a remote storage service such as Dropbox or Google Drive. Okay, and then you're able to migrate a copy of your website to say a new host. So you can do that within this plugin. Okay, great. So now we have backups handled. Next, let's talk about security. So again, security is a essential part of website maintenance as a hack website can cause a lot of damage to a business. So you want to make sure that security is at the top of your priority in terms of website maintenance. So again, that includes keeping your plugins and themes updated and WordPress and your PHP versions to the secure versions. 
Okay, and then also installing a security plugin. So the one I recommend is called WordPress. So we're gonna install that. Okay, so we just WordPress security, firewall and malware scan, then click activate. Okay, so you just have to get a license first. So you can get the free license. Okay, so just enter in my email. Okay, and then just register. Okay, great. So I'll get that license key and then I'll be able to install WordPress. Okay, great. So the free license has been installed. So let's go to the dashboard okay, and just follow their tutorial over here. Okay, so just the default setup should be fine. So you have a firewall over here, which you can set up. The function of the firewall is to protect your site from attackers. Go through their steps over here. So again, they have a premium version if you're looking for more security, but again, just the free version is fine for smaller websites. But if you're a website that's seeing a lot of attacks and you can upgrade to the premium version to get more security features such as IP blocking and country blocking. Okay, great. So if you go here into all settings, we're able to view our firewall. So now it's in learning mode. So you just want to let this run for about a week just so the firewall has an understanding of your website traffic. Okay, and then you can also optimize the firewall. So essentially this will help with the way the plugin loads. So that'll load before any other potential plugins that might be conflicting with the security plugin. So we can enable that. Okay, and then again, you just wanna make sure that you keep a backup of these files just in case you need to revert back. Okay, so we're just gonna download these files. Okay, so they've been downloaded and hit continue. Okay, great, so now the firewall has been optimized. Okay, and then over here you can customize the emails for which you are like to be notified. Okay, and then the next major feature is scans. So we can look into that. So again, with scans, we'll look over your files for any malware, malicious URLs, and possible infections that may cause significant malware in the future. So that will be handled by the scan. Okay, and then you can just run your scan here and then I'll notify you about any notifications over here that needs your attention once this, the scan is completed. Okay, great. So now we have the security of our website handled. We can move on to setting up a site speed plugin to help with the user experience, as well as it helps with SEO if you have a fast loading website. So again, in plugins, what we wanna search is cache. And then what we wanna install is Lightspeed cache. Okay, and then activate that. Okay, great. So now we have our site speed plugin over here. Okay, so down over here in Lightspeed cache we're able to see major optimizations in the dashboard. So I'm just gonna use one of their presets over here. They recommend the advanced presets. So again, I would recommend backing up your website before running any of these optimizations, just so you're able to revert back to a prior version in case it causes any conflicts. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply the preset. Okay, great. So if we check down here, the preset has now been applied. Okay, great. And then if you have any high quality images that need optimization, then you can do that over here in the image optimization tab. So again, you can send in optimization requests over here, and then these will optimize your images. Okay, great. So this is what I would personally do for any clients that require WordPress maintenance is making sure that WordPress is up to date as well as the secure version of PHP. And of course, updating the themes and plugins to the latest version and maintaining website backups, ensuring that the website is secure and running as efficient as possible using the right hosting and caching plugins installed on the website. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you were able to set up a web maintenance workflow by following this video. If you're looking for help with your website maintenance, then you can check out my website, mapletmedia.ca to find out more about my services. Please like and subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.